So I talked about uh, the electrons and how they're being stripped away from glucose and transferred to the electron transport chain. Uh, now the question is, okay, how are these electrons being transferred? They don't, don't transfer on their own. There has to be something that carries them. And this is where electron carrier molecules come in. So you're going to meet them right now. Uh, one of the electron carriers molecules is um, NAD. You don't need to know the long name. You don't need to know the structure. I am only showing this to here to emphasize how is it that this molecule can pick up an electron. So any electron carrier has two different forms an electron acceptor form, which means it's in a state where it can accept electrons, and an electron donor form, where it means it's picked up an electron and it's going to go and deliver it somewhere else. And remember I said the hydrogens are the ones that are carrying the electrons, so you can see NAD+, plus. that is the electron acceptor. It has only one hydrogen here, but when you compare the structure to NADH, you can see that there are two hydrogens now. So now this molecule from going NAD plus to NADH, it is being reduced. It's gaining an electron. Another electron carrier that you're going to meet is FAD. And again, FAD in its electron acceptor form, you see there are no hydrogens here, but in electron donor form, you see that this molecule has picked up two hydrogens. So now I want you to practice and answer these questions. So we got this molecule, it's being on this type, end of the reaction, it uh, appears with FAD. On the other side, we have FADH2, and this molecule is being transformed from this one and that one. So FAD in this reaction, is it being oxidized or reduced? In this case, we have this green molecule, and this side is NADH, and an H+. Plus. This molecule is transformed from this to this form, and then NADH is being transformed into NAD+. Plus. So is NADH being oxidized or reduced? I look forward to seeing your answers. So where do all these electron carriers fit in? In, NADH plays more roles in the whole process of cellular respiration than FADH2. NADH picks up electrons in the glycolysis step, in the pyruvate transformation step, and in the citric acid or Krebs cycle. But FADH2 only plays a role in the Krebs cycle. So all of these molecules now are carrying their electrons and they are going to deliver it to this end step, uh, which we call the oxidative phosphorylation step. And um, I will go into more details into what's happening in, in each of these later. Now, where is all of this happening? The glycolysis step happens in the cytoplasm. The transformation of pyruvate into acetyl-CoA happens in the mitochondrial matrix. The Krebs cycle or citric acid cycle also happens in the mitochondrial matrix. And the, the oxidative phosphorylation happens uh, in the mitochondrial inner membrane. And this is actually why mitochondria has such a folded and there's so much surface area in the inner membrane because the cell wants to maximize this process by packing as many components, cellular components that are involved in this process. It is important that you know where each of these steps are happening.